So it was about five years ago, six years ago, that we were invited to church here by Desi. And um, we didn't come that regular. Avery was not very happy about coming to church um, because she had not been away from me uh, for a long period of time at all. So it wasn't an easy drop off. The first time I met Avery, she came into Vacation Bible School and she was terrified and sad. Avery, Avery cried the entire first day. I'll never forget, she was sitting at the little table in her chair. She really didn't want anybody around her. She had her binky in her mouth. Um, but we, we loved her every way that she would let us love her. I, as a parent, uh, felt a little defeated and wasn't sure about my decision and, and bringing her. Abby took me aside and prayed with me and um, told me it was going to be okay and that she would take care of it. And then what really sold me is she personally called me um, on my home phone that evening. I knew how scared she was because I had been there as a mom too. So my call was to encourage her, please bring her back, <laughs> um, that we want to love her, that we weren't going to tire of loving her. She gave me the encouragement, and I trusted her and knew that she was going to take care of Avery. She came the second day, and it was the same thing. She cried and cried and cried and cried the entire day, always with her binky in her mouth. <laughs> it, it was the third day um, I walked into the downstairs kids ministry lobby, and I saw her. Um, she was on top of the slide, and she still had her binky, but she was smiling underneath. Oh, Avery, now um, this is her church. Her joy, uh, her pure joy. I mean, we, we used to turn down Spring Cypress, and the anxiety would kick in, and the, um, you know, crying would kick in, and now it's, you know, I'm ready to go to church. Are we going to church? Are we going to praise and worship? Avery is a lovely, vibrant, beautiful, spunky part of our preschool ministry. She. Um, on many Sundays can be seen skipping into her classroom. She does her craft, she listens to the story, she sings and dances and prays and worship. Avery was, uh, was almost, gosh, it was probably February of 2012, so she was three and a half. We always say our prayers at night and she decided that she was gonna take over and she did it. And to hear a three-year-old ch child's voice say the Lord's Prayer is just, there's nothing better. It's a forever lesson. It's it's eternal. What they get, the first impression of God's love, the first impression of God's family, and um, just being a part of that is one of the blessings of my life. After my experience at um, VBS, um, I knew that I, after seeing the love that that Avery got here and I saw um, all the love from all the children's ministry workers that I knew I wanted to, to volunteer my time. And Faithbridge is now um, a second home for our family. Um, I couldn't imagine um, our life without Faithbridge. And seeing the love of the Lord through your child's eyes is something that just, I don't know, melts a parent's heart. Our lives are forever changed because of Faithbridge. The family, our favorite family that we have here.